so there are uh, several barriers um, that Latino the Latino community faces. Um, it's true that one of those is basically the financial burden that they could sometimes experience. Um, it's, it's less to say that uh, many of these patients are immigrants. Um, they are either uninsured or underinsured. Um, and one of the things about treatment of cutaneous lymphomas is that this is a chronic disease. Yeah. It's the same as saying that you have hypertension, you have diabetes. It's something that you many times cannot cure, but most of the time you can provide quality of life um, and you can keep that disease under control for many, many years. And, and the survival in general is really good. Um, most of the time, what we're seeking is to improve uh, the symptoms, to make patients feel, uh, I will say how the way they phrase it, not miserable. Uh, throughout the course of their disease. So because of that, a lot of the Latino community, given that this is a rare disease, uh, the access to therapy could be challenging. Um, I know there are programs that help these people. And in Houston, for example, we do get consuls from community hospital to MD Anderson to see how we can assist them. And I provide insights and, and recommendations. Uh, for example, the, the fellows in MD Anderson works in um, LBJ hospital, which is a community hospital, and they many times have me a reference for management of these patients. Uh, but at the end, ultimately, it all comes to uh, how affordable could be for the patients to get on treatment. Uh, but the good thing is that there are programs that are willing to help them. Uh, but this is a challenge that I don't think is just particularly facing for CTCL uh, or cutaneous lymphomas, I think in general for rare diseases. And that's, and that's the challenge. Rare diseases tends to be a, a little bit um, of a challenge for people that treat them, and um, not only in the area of lymphoma, for any rare diseases really in, in general. 